you yeah, dog, that makes me happy. Look at that. Welcome everybody, Brewing Cooter here. Nice, casual Saturday evening. So, just as the title suggested, this is Hazard County. Brand spanking new map. Pretty cool. Played with it for a couple hours uh, on Friday. Mm. And uh, no beer tonight, I know. No beer because I have a headache and... Uh, so I'm just going with the soda and aspirin. But, 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 Hazard County, man. Duke's a hat. It's awesome. So uh, I didn't even have to make any map edits. And I, I grant that I only played for two hours, so I didn't visit everything. But I couldn't find any edits that I needed to make whatsoever. And that's kind of unusual for me in a map. So the only other map I had to edit was Fenton Forest. Everything else I've tweaked a little bit. Not this one. Haven't found a reason to yet. Haven't found a reason. Ah, actually, you know what? I did edit it. Crap. I didn't edit it. It comes with a bunch of mods. I edited one of the mods it came with. The silo I edited to uh, support much more product than what originally came with it. So I think I bumped it to like 10 million. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started in new farmer mode. Now we're going to do... I'm still not sure how to play this because I, I don't really want to play this realistically. I'm a, this this is going to be a big machine. Actually, it's kind of it's going to we're, we have medium sized fields and big fields. We're, so we're we're probably going to have some duplicate equipment, but this is going to be in severe contrast to the Tyrolean Alps game. This is what I'm going to play to kind of get my big equipment fix on while I'm playing a small map. So we're going to go in and start some new farmer here. And where is it? It's right there. I'm going to make sure I have my case hat on because we're going to do a case farm. Because the last big one I did was a John Deere farm. We're going to do a case farm. So let's get started. We're going to use all of the mods. Now, the starting position in this game is awesome. As soon as it loads, you start in a backwoods still. It's so, if it starts, farms, and when I initially started, started single player mode, I had duplicate, triplicate, quadruplicate of a lot of machinery, and that was because I, of course, I didn't read the damn directions that came with it. It said you had to replace it if you're going to be playing single player, so... I did, and now we're good to go. So let's just go ahead and get through all of the first time map stuff. There we go. So we got a little still, man. This is our uh, little backwoods still right here. We're in a little canyon, little hideout, and it's very cool. If we go around the corner here on this little path, we have our generally, but, but, The horn. Can you guys hear that? Do I have my sound up? Yeah. So I guess you guys do hear it. The horn is wrong. It's supposed to be Dixie. But anyway, that in the real generally didn't have a uh, didn't have a big old external air intake like this. But whatever. It is what it is. We got our uh, charger here. We got our big old fats on the back. <clears throat> but let's take a look. Here's what we're going to do. So we get a lot of gear to start with. Let's go look in the garage because we are going to sell it. Almost all of it. We, get, we start with a case Puma. We're going to sell it. 
New Holland uh, 435. We're going to sell it. Ford Semi, sell. Teradas, sell. Scorpion, sell. All the foresty sell, 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 sell. Go ahead and sell it all because we are going to start from scratch. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We own a lot of cow barns because, like I said, it's set up for multiplayer. When you play single player, they're on the map, so you're going to get them. They're there. You can't sell them because you don't own the property. We can sell the one that's on our property, but they're going to be in your list. It's all going to be there. And four houses. Or is it five? Five. So, and we just made, what did we start with? 100,000? So we just made $2.14 million selling all this gear. I think that's a little OP. But we're going to start off and we're going to buy some stuff right out of the gate. So before we even do a tour of the map, before we do anything, I am going to make some landscaping and structural changes and get a crop in the ground. So I'm going to go ahead here and we're going to purchase a large tractor. We are going to purchase the Case Steiger. I keep going past it. It's right here. We are going to buy the maxed out Case Steiger. So we're not going to put monitors on it, but we're going to go with floaters, I think. Uh, one of these has a floater option. There they are. Yep, Goodyear. Goodyear floaters. Big, old, monster-wide floaters. That is awesome. Love that. Um, <clears throat> do we go with the front weights? Or do we go with a front three-point, maybe? Well, wait, the weights are on the side. I can probably do... So that's 2,200 pounds. Plus, I can do a three-point on the front, which is awesome. Look at that. We're going to leave the design case red. We are going to get GPS, even though I may not use it. Better to have it. <clears throat> we're going to go with the whopping 682 horsepower monstrosity, which is going to cost an extra $165,000, bringing our brand total, grand total for this beast up to 5.4, which this is over a half a million dollars. This is by far the most expensive tractor that's not a harvester or, a, or whatever that I've ever, ever bought. But I think it's going to be worth it because I think... It's cool, and I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to buy. We're going to go ahead and buy this. All right, go back, and we're going to buy a plow because we need a plow. And we don't have monster fields. If we had big old square monster fields, I'd be buying this uh, Bredner Swifter plow by Stevie because it is a big one. We're just going to go with the 12.2 meter Joker. And we're going to get it in case red with gray. So something like that because case. Let's go ahead and buy that. And then what we really, really need on this map. And if we look at the map, you can easily see that one of the big things here is these fields are chopped into lots of little pieces everywhere. And usually there's, there's pathing. You can see here, this is just a tree line. There's tree lines. Some of them are fence lines that you can't get across. But in this case right here, we're going to combine field three, field four, this unnumbered field up here, and 104 into one big field. And that's the very first thing we're going to do because we are going to run silage. Now I'm going to tell you why we're going to do this in just a minute. Because we, we're going to we're going to want we're going to need some cash because as soon as I buy some starting gear, we're taking our money back down to 100,000 because I think we got too much money because really we were given too too much high end high end gear to start with. So let's go ahead and go back to go shopping. So we've got our big monster tractor, the Steiger, and a plow. Let's go for a medium tractor and. <clears throat> Again, I'm not 
too concerned about cheating right now, but, but using cheaty cheaty mods. So I think do I want to go with the Puma or the Maxim? Hmm. Let's go with the Puma. See what kind of wheels we can get here. Wides, narrows, standards, wides. Wide tires, wide tires with weights. All right, we're just going to do regular wides. We're, we are going to get the GPS. We're going to bump it up so it's 270 horsepower. And we are not going to use the front loader. This does have a three point on the front with PTO. So we are good. So let's go ahead and buy this. And we are going to buy a trailer for it. And if we go all the way down here, we are going to do... Ooh. That is new. That must come with the map. Interesting. We're going to buy the Crone. 300,000. We're going to go ahead and make it a case red. With... Let's go with black rims. We're going to do 300,000. No cover. Let's go ahead and buy that. Let's go back and get some forestry gear because we are going to need to take down some trees. Because what I'm going to do is as soon as we get our, our initial setup done here, I've got to spend some time busting down some trees. It's going to take quite a bit of time. So we're going to Brux it. All right. Buy. Yes. Okay. And we're at 1.2 million. We are going to get a cedar as well. Let's see. What cedar do we want? Nothing too gigantic. Maybe this guy right here. That's a nine meter. Handles all the fruit type plus sugar cane. It, the only thing it doesn't do is potatoes. So I think, I think this is a good option. This is a little bit of a tricky mod here because it does do driving lines by default. You always have to remember to turn them off. But we're going to go ahead and get this. Let's buy that. Oops, no, we don't want to buy a second one. Let's get ourselves a, what else do we need? We need a limer because we are going to need the lime. I'm just going to go with the monstrosity, uh, the bridle, which is modded to hold a crap ton. And this will be lime, so we are going to make it pearl white. Just so we know it's lime. We will get another one when it's time to do fertilizer, and that will be our, our setup. Um, all right. Let's go back here and we'll take a look at the map again. So the starting area is huge. Huge. You get fields 1, 2, 3, 4, unnamed field, field 104, 9, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, and 7. Also on your property is a railroad silo. And a whole railroad loading area. That's where the uh, the extended arm uh, with the grappler was for loading logs onto the rail. But what we're going to do here, and the only thing we don't really own is this little silo area here. But it's your silo to use. So awesome. We are going to buy the biogas plant for $128,000. What is awesome about this is the biogas also has a biomass plant. So by purchasing this, we are going to be able to sell our wood chips for a monstrous value of, come on, six hundred and two dollars per thousand that is a great price considering this, the best sawmill price is 433 now let's go take a look at our options are we on let's see time scale let's we're going to put it in real time economic difficulty we're definitely going to leave normal no easy here traffic off 
stop and go braking, fuel usage default, turn all of the buys off, 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 plant growth that's fast, withering is off, destruction is off, plowing is on, lime is on, weeds are off, autosave is off. So those are our settings. Go back to the map and we own these two fields right here. So here is the game plan because I'm going to take a, you're, we're going to do some little video editing magic and go right from right from here to where all of a sudden I have some trees down and we're ready to do some expanding because between these fields right here are lines of trees. So I got to take down these lines of trees right here. Um, when I did this on my test map last night, um, I can tell you that I got about a million dollars worth of wood chip sales. So we're going to go, we're going to do this. We're going to work off, uh, we're going to set right before we do it, we're going to set our money back down to uh, a thousand, a hundred thousand dollars and hopefully go from there and make some money. Um, probably we'll do a silage run first just to build up some massive cash because we have the biogas plant. So what is silage selling for? 360, that is not a good price right now. We can, 362. That is not as good as I thought it would be. And that's at the barn, not even at our biogas, but we get dig digestate, so, you know, we get a byproduct, which is nice. Anyway, so let's uh, let's go take a look. Let me turn off. Let me turn off tabbing to uh, trains because I had that on. <clears throat> I had that on because I was riding the train. Because there are there are some weird there's some weird things with the trains going on here. I didn't didn't know how to get lime. So here's our gear. Awesome. We got the Steiger. We got the plow. We got the Puma. I think it was a Puma, right? Isn't that what we bought? Yeah. Trailer. The Brux is hidden over there. And the Cedar. So we are all set. This is all we need right now. So let's go ahead and set our money down to a hundred thousand, because I think that this this get up right here is probably a pretty good, pretty good start. The only thing we're missing is a harvester. But if you noticed, there wasn't a harvester on the original in the original equipment. It was mostly logging equipment. Um, so so let's go ahead and. Uh, what's what's the command? What's the command? What's the command? GS cheat money minus let's go minus nine hundred and ten thousand. Does this work in reverse? Yep, there we go. All right. <clears throat> so let's look at our money situation and just so we can be clear about how how this is panning out. We don't have a loan. Our balance is 100, 669. Today we <clears throat> purchased 1.1 million in vehicles. We sold $2.1 million in vehicles. We purchased $128,000 in land and we have an other, which is our bank correction of 910,000. So that is where we stand right now. So I'm going to stop this recording and when we pick back up, we should be good to go. It's probably good. Excuse me. It's probably going to be about four hours from now. So I will see you in just a minute. Oh, that's money in the bank right there. Look at that. Yeah, dog. That makes me happy. Look at that. And we're rich. Well, not rich, but we have some cash. We have a good amount of cash. Over 900,000 liters of wood chips. And we have taken down a crap ton of trees. And done some landscaping. Now, there's a trick to landscaping. 
you know, no, not, you know, normally, especially when fields are this tight and you go to do some smoothing and leveling between fields, it always destroys your fields. Really easy. Copy your save game out, put it into another save game slot, do all of your landscaping that you want, exit the game, then the only thing that you need to copy from the new save game back to your original save game is the terrain height map which controls the height and level and slope of the terrain and that's it and that way you get the nice level terrain without it having destroyed the borders of your field so these are the original borders and there were trees all, you see the shrubbery line trees all down the shrubbery line and all up there in that pocket we are going to combine fields three four one oh four and then this nameless triangle field over here to the right. So here's how we're gonna do this. We've, oops, we've got our awesome Steiger right here. So we are going to get this puppy over on the edge and we're basically going to drive an outline around the field where we want it to go. These fields are not even to begin with, so straight lines are Apparently not that important on this map. You can see how how crazy everything here. By the way, when you start in new farmer mode, you do not get any crops. What you get is all right. So this is all right. So I'm not used to an articulated tractor. That's that's unique. All right, let's see. Can we change that? Does this does this have the the Steering mode change? No, it doesn't. Okay, well, I guess we're stuck in articulated mode and I'm gonna have to learn how to adapt. This, this is why I don't drive the quadra track. It's miserable for backing up. All right, let's line up. Close enough, right? So lower our plow. We are already on create mode here, so we are just going to drive around the outside here. We don't really need to do anything with that corner. That corner is already done. We just need to line up this. draw our line here we don't want to get that's not our property over there so we don't do not want to go up that hill at all take a nice rounded corner here and head up towards this power pole make sure we're well inside the power pole what we're going to do is we're going to aim for the corner of the map right there just like that perfect come around this way and do a little turn around this cliff here perfect take up a little bit more there there we go and then we have this corner here which is our last outline corner to get There we are going to edit some terrain here. So let's hop into landscaping mode and paint this. This is too close to these telephone poles here. So we are going to we are going to paint this up with some grass here so that uh, we don't hit these telephone poles. Probably an easier, faster way to do that. Because <clears throat> this field goes right up. These there, there are some tight fields. Look at this field over here. Look how close it is to that fence line. <clears throat> Man, allergies are killing me today. So, 
we're not going to run anything in that field over there but grass because I tried and tried and tried to run something over there and uh, it just was a no-go. I couldn't see it. I was always getting caught up in the fences. It's much too close. All right. So that should be far enough away from those poles, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope that it's not going to cause a problem. So we're going to load up course play. Go into field work mode and have it look for the new field edge path. Should be pretty straightforward. And if we go to, what we're going to do is we're going to overwrite field three's definition with this one. So overwrite and course generate. And how many headlands do we want here? Probably three. And let's make any weirdness. Oh, that looks really good. That looks really good. So that is the field we want. That is a nice size field. I'm just guessing, just guess, guess, guessing that that's going to bring us close to a million liters of silage. All right, maybe not a million. Maybe, maybe 600,000. That's just, just, just a rough guess. We're going to go for this. This is awesome. Now we need to leave our tool in create mode. Let us swing around another big circle here because we are going to tell course play to run that course in create mode so that it can create around all this stuff. Now it's probably going to take just a nip, just a little wee nip out of the edge of the field. But that's okay because we will recalculate it afterwards. Come on, turn. Turn. Where are you going? All right, so you took a big nip out of that. I really don't think that uh, Course Play likes articulated trail tractors either. I'm with you, Course Play. I am with you. see how far yeah see it's taking big old chunks all right I think we are going to stop this it is definitely definitely not liking this all right well we got some cash let's buy let's do something let's buy another let's buy a different tractor Let us get an Optum or a Maxim. Uh, what do we want? Let's go with the Iconics. Let's go with the Optum. I think we, uh, that only goes up to 288. This Magnum goes up to 409. 435. So can we get floaters on this guy too? Oh yeah. God, that's awesome. All right, we're buying this. I know that that's money that we need, but our silage will make up for it. And let's go back and let us get a smaller plow because really creating fields is so much easier with a smaller plow. Plows are cheap though. We're gonna go with this guy because this guy is the rock steady savior of everything. That is my go-to. So let's let's close this guy up here and put him off to the side. We will use him for our plowing, though. I'm, man, I am still the jury's out on the Steiger. Jury is way out on it. <clears throat> I probably should have known that uh, an articulated trailer a tractor was not for me. We're gonna put this on you backwards because it, you will go faster oh man that tractor looks good man big old tires are awesome look at that look at that 
this is going to do a much better job. Now we're going to need to fix up the field with a little landscaping first and return it back to its state because it got way too close to that telephone pole. How fast does this guy go here? Whoppy, 32 miles an hour. All right. <clears throat> so the shop is a good haul from from these fields. I mean, it's not not horrible. We're going to pass the BGA that we own down here on the right. We also apparently, when we bought the BGA, picked up field 108, which I still don't know where it is. I think it's the creek. Or maybe it's that little mess of grass right there. I'm still not sure. I have, <clears throat> I see it on the map, but I don't really know where it is. It's can kind of interesting. I don't, I also don't really understand why we have a field that had no number associated with it, but whatever. It is what it is, and we're going to play this, and we're going to rock this map with uh, some big old case equipment. Big old red gear. <clears throat> and as soon as we get this thing started, we're going to do a map tour of our property. All right, so let us fix up the issue. Go into landscaping mode here. Go back and correct this guy. Because it swung almost all the way into that telephone pole there. All right, that should do it. You know, we probably need to fix that too. Well, I don't own the land, but I was able to plow it, huh? Well, that's a bummer. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw a little line right here so we don't have that bump. Come on. Don't tell me I don't own the land. That's our silo. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, let's, let's do this again. Field work mode. Calculate edge path. Overwrite number three. Overwrite it. Course generation. Field three. Let's go with four or five headlands. Generate. <coughs> and this time it decided to go lengthways. Okay, whatever floats your boat. I'm just worried about making turns over here and hitting telephone poles. But whatever, we're going to go with it. Alright, unfold this. Allow, create fields. Lower pet plow. Drive from first waypoint. Go for it. Turn its speed up. And let's see, how are you doing? Oh yeah, so much better. So much better. If we let him do 21 miles an hour, I think we'll be good to go. But you see how it's taking a little nip out of the edges? Because it, it kind of over or understates the width when it goes to do things. So it has a tendency to do that. And let's turn your turn speed down a little bit. So that when you do make those turns, you don't have to swing as wide. Oh, look, look how it's generated the course with all with all this back and forth because how ragged the the course is. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, 
we're gonna let this rock and roll this is gonna take a hot minute but this is so much smoother than that than the quadra track where that stagger would be just want to see how it handles this corner here see that's good I like it how you slow down that's what you're supposed to do slow down make a nice peaceful relaxing turn and you still oh, and we took that sign again all right anyway it's rocking and rolling so what we're gonna do is we are going to no I didn't hit F1 I hit escape we are gonna hop into our general Lee so we're down here at the still the still is hidden in a little valley inside of your property and this sucker is fast 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 and there's a hidden entrance up to your main road here which allows you to get down here now I just cannot wait to jump this guy across creeks and ponds it's gonna be awesome because he is so fast he's almost uncontrollable on this dirt road man all right Here is the hidden entrance. We just drive through the brush and voila, we're up on the road. So if you're just driving along, you're not gonna see that. Pretty cool, huh? So this is in essence our driveway. All right, if we follow this out, we are gonna come across our lower fields. As a matter of fact, you'll see that the, that the uh, Brooks tractors there. There should be a bridge here if I remember right. So there is where we are currently working. Oh, there is no bridge. We're going to come out right next to right next to our property. So right now all you've seen are dirt roads, right? because there is a lot of winding back and forth. We're kind of, our house and all of our stuff is tucked back away up in that that uh, mountaintop back there. So we come along here and this is kind of the exit to our farm. On the left, we have our main silo. This is, we don't own this property, which is weird. And on the right here, we have our TMR mixer and our fermenter. So if we go in here and drive through We have two, this is a really unique setup here. We have two tip points. We have the silage fermenter, which will take grass or chaff and output silage. And then we have our TMR processor, which is set up a little bit different than the TMR you get in the base game. This is 25% corn, 25% soy, 50 silage will give you TMR. Little weird, I know, right? No straw, no hay, corn, soybeans, and silage. Weird, right? I am assuming that I can change this in the config. I just haven't. I'm gonna go with what they did, so we'll see. Which is weird, because I, I, I mean, I'm so not used to having to do corn for cows, but whatever. So we own this field on the left here. It's kind of a small field. We are, this is the field that we're merging together. This is going to be our monster field right here. And then this fenced in field, which I'm just not even sure how we're going to process it. It's really, the only thing I think of is we're going to put grass in it. Either that or I'm just going to flatten it and we're going to stick buildings in it. We swing around this gravel road here. We're going to cross the railroad tracks and we're going to come up to the remainder of our fields, which are on the left here. And we are hauling at 77 miles an hour. We're still gonna wreck. So we have a grass field here. Field nine is grass. Field 13 is grass. And you can see these are all very weirdly shaped fields. And then we get into our dirt fields. We've got field 15, look at 14 in the back. Look at the shape crazy huh I have to go around the tractor this is where I left it because I got more trees to take down over here hi tractor 
by tractor. All right. On the right, we have two fields. We have 17 and we have 18, which has this big, long, phallic-looking extension off of it, which is apparently is called Bear Claw Canyon. We're going to... I couldn't get that to get, even get a thresher back there well, so... And then this is our, basically, our other driveway. If we follow this through, we're going to come out where we came out with the other one here. Let's see. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to come to yet another bridge. Like I said, our farm is hidden. That is the railroad station that is on our property. Whoa. Whoa. Too bad this thing doesn't peel out. It does a little bit. Look at that. We still have not gotten to our farmland. Here is I mean, our farm yard. Here is our farm yard. Left, that goes down to the uh, railroad station. And here we go. Here is our house. Right there. I still haven't explored back in some of these these hills. I'm sure there, there's some cool stuff around here. Whoa. Come on, turn radius. So used to driving a tractor. All right, this is a seed factory up here on the left. This puppy takes something something and turns it into seeds. I haven't looked yet. If it's like every other seed factory, it's going to be something like either fertilizer and seeds or herbicide and seeds and or herbicide and grain. So who knows, but we have the ability to make seeds, which is cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and hop out of the general lee here because it is crazy and I'm not sure I can navigate this. We have a bunch of buildings here. Come on, open up bunch of buildings that have nothing in them and they didn't when we showed up so we have this this is a cool storage area right here this i believe is our cow come on get in there nope this is not our cow this is yet another building all right so these are the these are the come on i don't like the fact that the doors open one at a time so we got two red storage barns right next to each other one there and then one on the back side here this is a shop see why can't both these open at the same time why they gotta be like that and there's our shop so we basically just did a circle gas station right here shop a storage area right here ooh shelving I didn't even see that does this door open yes it does cool does the light switch work? Do we get a... Guess not. Okay. Oh, don't know why it's there then. This is big. Little shed right there. That's cool. And then we come up here. This is our hayloft. This is going to store all of our basically forage product. And it is massive. It is almost the size of the one down there at the bottom. That's our cow right there. And it is a big monster one. And it's big on the inside too. And then you're going to open up. There you go. Big but very realistic looking. Pretty awesome. Digging it. Definitely digging it. Even the fans are working. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We do not own that field. That is field six. We do have a great view up here, though. All right, so let's come back down here and go over here. This is, is this pigs or, yeah. Pretty sure this is piggies. Can we get a? Can we get a? 
animal trigger here. Yep, there's the piggies. So where, oh where? This is this road goes back. We have so much property here. This road goes back over to the horse barn, which is right here. Probably need to sell this because I'm really not into riding the horses. And then our very last field, which is tucked away, hidden, totally hidden from everybody in the world. I'm going to go jump down this cliff here. This field is totally hidden. Nobody can get to it except by coming on your property because it is surrounded. Let's go to the highest point here. It is surrounded by hills and cliffs. It's up on this little plateau and it's pretty big. But it's got these little, these little panhandles that hang off of it that uh, are plowed under, which are going to be, this would be a nightmare to try to, uh, to try to run some automation on just because of how, how narrow these are. And there's two of them. So really that's going to be grass area. So I really, I don't know, do we have sheep? Does not look like we have sheep at all. Anyway, so if we hop back into General Lee and we cruise on back this way right here, this is going to take us right back to where we uh, started. So somewhere over here on the side is that entrance, I think, right here. Is that it? Yep. There's the hidden entrance down to our still. Now, there's lots of unexplored areas up in here. There is a, somewhere here, there is, yep, here's a little, like, dead tree hollow. Maybe like a crater of some sort that was formed here with a bunch of dead trees. Pretty awesome. Somewhere around here, where is it? And you'll have to, I'm running really fast here, so you have to bear with me. We're going to do some scaling here just to see if we can find... Holy cow. All sorts of stuff going on here. We are crossing over. There's a tunnel that the train goes through. All right. I want to go this way. I think it is over here by this bridge. There is a POW memorial somewhere up here, if we can get to it. I guess we need to kind of come up this way here come up the dirt road where oh where are you there it is I'm not sure how to get up there because I've never been up there before gotta be a path here we go this will work where are you check it out There's a tractor trailer set in stone. We've got the Georgia flag, US flag, POW MIA flag, and a an Iwo Jima. Never forget POW MIA semi. That is so cool. Very, very awesome. Anyway, so that's uh, this is episode one, guys. So I can tell you what we're gonna do. Let's pull up the map here, because we are plowing this under. We are gonna we get we still got some cash. We're gonna plant corn here. We are gonna do a uh, forage harvest. I'm probably gonna lease the forager first. It depends on how cash goes and how my tree harvesting efforts go. Um, <clears throat> 
field two is going to be grass just because it's so difficult to work with. I don't want to work a cedar in here over and over again. So I'm going to plant grass because it'll just regrow and I can mow. Um, field one is I'm probably going to plant with soybeans because we're going to need soybeans for our TMR. And then this section here is my next on my list to merge together. 13, 15, and 14, and this whole little thing will become one field. Nine will probably stay grass. And then 17 and 18 I'm going to merge, and I'm going to get rid of this guy here and just leave this grass back here. Same thing with seven. I'm probably going to clip the field here and clip the field here and just leave it this square. So that's the game plan right now. Um, that's a lot of work I got ahead of me to we just bought this farm you know we got to set it up the way we like it it's, you know just like just like anything else you know you gotta gotta get your feet under you and you gotta make your property look the way you want it so expect uh, expect big things but a, a, a very slow process trying to get the farm where we want it and I think we're not gonna have a money issue to start with because we bought the biogas with the biomass and selling wood chips is a cash cow if we take a look at my money you can see that if you remember right we uh we have a minus nine hundred ten thousand was our bank correction but i have seven hundred and twenty two thousand dollars worth of harvest income from wood chips pretty pretty awesome so i bet you i can get this to pass a million today if i hump there's not much time left in the day let's see what time is it it's 3 in the afternoon so i got some time to go do some more anyway as you can see we own a hell of a lot of property guys a hell of a lot and this map is big big with lots of fields i mean look at the size of these can you imagine taking something like this and just merging it all together, man? Take you all day to harvest, but man, you, you know, with course play, you just sit back and watch the cash roll in. It's awesome. But for right now, we're going to stick with what we got. I wish we could break this up and sell some of these chunks because I would sell, I would sell this section here around 18 in the New York minute. Um, I would probably sell seven because I don't need the horse farm and I don't know what to do with all this gobbledygook over here but it's ours so we're gonna make do um, I don't think we're gonna expand I think we can make do with what we were given if we do expand it's probably gonna be one of these two fields 119 or 79 because they're big but only if I can go take a look and see make sure there's no boulders or cliffs right here and we can merge all this together so Hopefully we can do that. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I know this has been a long episode. I love you guys. This is going to be the kind of cheaty, kind of overpowered. We're going to try some crazy stuff. We're going to try some cheaty stuff. Just a little cheaty, you know, because that's how I like to play. And uh, we'll save the uh, the realistic stuff for the uh, Tyrolean Alps, which I am getting. So that map is just killing me. It's so It's so small and so tight. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I love you, and I will see you all on the flip side.